Hi, my name is Darren Pustum, and I'm the product manager for ArcGIS Mission. ArcGIS Mission is a geo-enabled system for mission management, geospatial communication, and tactical situational awareness. Now, there are several tools on the market today that address some level of situational awareness. And what we've found out from the customers that we've been engaged with is that there are still gaps that need to be addressed in their workflows. For instance, team members require the need to communicate and collaborate with each other in areas such as edge of network and disconnected environments. And mobile users or team members need updated information. In some cases, they are provided with information on SD cards that become dated as soon as they get in the field. These methods make it difficult to provide them with timely updates of relevant mission information. Also, there is no one solution to address end-to-end -end mission tasks, and customers find themselves repurposing specific features from multiple apps to satisfy this requirement. And an area that is really lacking is that field activity is not being captured or persisted in the organization's system of record for things like doing assessments, analysis, or even mission playback. Mission addresses these critical needs by providing that focused tactical situational awareness experience that gives organizations a really comprehensive understanding of their operating environment. It's composed of three core components, the ArcGIS Mission Manager, the ArcGIS Mission Responder, and the Mission Server, all of which make up ArcGIS Mission. Let's look at each a little more closely. The ArcGIS Mission Manager is a focused web app that allows users to create and interact with missions. With ArcGIS Mission, you can do things like create mission maps, add graphics, overlays, or other reference layers. You can organize a mission with members into teams and provide additional materials for the mission, such as documents and photos. The mission manager is also used to communicate with mission members and oversee all mission responder activity during the mission. For Out in the Field, we've created a focused mobile app called ArcGIS Mission Responder. And this app allows mobile users to actively participate in the assigned mission. With Responder, teams in the field have a focused view of their mission, including a designated map, documents, and even their teammates' location, as well as other details of the mission. They are able to share information with their teammates and be in constant contact with mission members using ArcGIS Mission's peer-to-peer -peer communication capability. Through the Mission Responder app, teams can communicate through chat messages or geo messages, which is just a simple way to communicate graphically on the screen. With Responder, Teams can send and see the status and location of each member of the team, keeping them in touch and just simply knowing where their teammates are. And as with our other apps, Responder users will be able to access offline maps and interact with map features such as bookmarks, layers, base maps, and even do measurements in the field. The ArcGIS Mission Server is a new ArcGIS server role in ArcGIS Enterprise, and it links the Mission Manager and the Mission Responder, and it has new technology that is optimized for communication. It basically allows for peer-to-peer -peer communication between mobile users while simultaneously updating the web application and persisting data in ArcGIS. ArcGIS Mission brings that tactical situational awareness to organizations that provide security, such as commercial companies that provide security for their facilities and high-profile corporate events, or public safety agencies that respond to planned and unplanned events, or transportation organizations that monitor transportation hubs, facilities, and their assets. Even agencies that handle emergency response, secure assets and resources. Now, let's take a look at the members of a mission who support these types of events in organizations. All organizations are not the same, so some of these folks may take on dual roles. Here we have Carl, the mission owner. Some organizations may refer to him as a supervisor. Essentially, Carl uses Mission Manager to create the mission, provision the data and content, communicate with mobile users, and basically manage the mission. 
Another mission member is Lisa, who is a mission analyst. She is the bridge between the command center and the responder. Lisa works directly with the responders to gather and share time-critical information, perform assessments, and create information products in support of commander's decision requirements. As a mobile operator, Frank uses the Responder app to provide a geographical context to what's happening around him and see where his teammates are and communicate with them. Responder both complements as well as extends his existing radio and communication channels. Another role that can take part in a mission as a mission member is Monica, who is a GIS professional. The role is not required per se, but enhances the overall ex mission experience. As a GIS professional, Monica can participate in a mission by authoring and publishing content, as well as she can use her GIS skills to conduct post-mission analysis. And for a more strategic picture, the mission observer's role is one that provides an all-inclusive and integrated view of operations, raising the level of transparency and providing a means for informed decision-making. But regardless of the sector, crisis, or even the people using mission within an organization, ArcGIS Mission provides one platform to create, manage, monitor, and analyze mission data in your organization. It provides situational awareness at the tactical level. Know where your mission members are and coordinate actions among team members based on real-time events and activity. And do this even when disconnected, using peer-to-peer -peer communication, enabling teams to share their location, tracks, and messages for stronger collaboration in disconnected environments. And being able to leverage mission data gives organizations the ability to gain insights into activities that increase transparency and builds trust within organizations. Ultimately, this allows them to make more informed decisions. In terms of licensing and system requirements, ArcGIS Mission is a three-tier solution that requires a base deployment of ArcGIS Enterprise 10.8 standard or above. The ArcGIS Mission Manager is a web app, licensed per user for ArcGIS Enterprise 10.8, and requires a creator or above user type. The ArcGIS Mission Responder is a free mobile app for iOS and Android, and requires an editor or above user type. Android will be available first and iOS will be following soon. As I mentioned earlier, the ArcGIS Mission Server is a new role and is new technology that facilitates peer-to-peer -peer networking, sharing, communication, and collaboration, and basically relays location and present information of the mission members. For information and pricing, please connect with your representative account manager. In terms of the road ahead, we are in the testing phase of iOS, and this should be out pretty soon. As part of our plans to extend mobile peer-to-peer -peer beyond cellular and Wi-Fi networks, we are currently working with Gotenna and researching additional radios with enhanced capabilities. In line with providing a strategic view of operations, Anas will have the option from Mission Manager to create a dashboard for an executive view of operations without leaving the app. We know that many of our customers are using field apps, and we are searching how to best integrate those with Mission. And in the longer term, we are introducing a developer story around Mission to benefit developers and system integrators. I have here listed more resources on Mission. We have provided an email for your feedback, but please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. ArcGIS Mission is a brand new focused situational awareness and collaboration solution to prepare, execute, and monitor both planned and unplanned events utilizing the power of the ArcGIS platform. As highlighted, ArcGIS Mission consists of three core components, Mission Manager, the web application, Mission Responder, the mobile application, and Mission Server, the server component which links the two. ArcGIS Mission is part of the Enterprise 10.8 release. So let's first begin by logging into the portal. Please note, as mentioned earlier, my user has the role editor and above assigned 
and has been provisioned with the license to use Mission Manager. Since I meet these necessary prerequisites, you can see Mission Manager as an option in the App Launcher. So let's go ahead and click on it to launch Mission Manager. A mission is the fundamental way to organize people, content, and materials centered around a common goal. I can view a list of missions that I own or am a member of. To see details about each mission, such as the name of the mission, who owns the mission, the summary, and the status. So let's take a closer look at the Dominion Energy Power Outage Inspection mission that the team created and executed a few weeks ago. We can see that the goal of this mission is centered around the inspection of the electric infrastructure for the city of Vienna, Virginia, that was hit by a recent thunderstorm. The mission overview page also helps us summarize the key factors of the mission, the number of members and teams participating in the mission, maps and usage, and the materials being shared with the mission members. If you go to the members tab, the people in a mission are organizational users, essentially the portal users, who can then be added to the mission as members. These members can be further organized into teams based on the goals of the mission. And in this case, I have two teams that participated, Team Edison and Team Franklin. Please note, a mission member can be added across multiple teams and are not restricted to a single team in a mission. The Maps tab contains a mission map which includes geospatial layers to provide context about the operating environment. For this mission, I have a map with supporting layers that include the key inspection zones, Zone A near the Wolf Trap National Park and Zone B. The materials are any supporting documents, reports or images which can provide further information regarding the mission goals. And in this case, I have a PDF detailing the inspection guidelines. All missions have a status, which informs mission members of the state of the mission. Once a created mission is set to active, members can begin participating and collaborating towards their common mission goals. Now let's go ahead and open this mission. Once the mission is fully loaded, I can easily view the members within the mission along with their corresponding status, location, and device. This informs me who is connected to the mission, their last known location denoted by the pin icon, and whether they are a supporting analyst or a responder in the field denoted by the monitor or mobile device icon. I can also view which teams are in the mission and who is part of each team. For instance, I can take a quick look to see which mission members are part of Team Edison. As an analyst, I can see the latest activity occurring in the mission that directly reflects anything that I am involved in to maintain a focused view of the mission. And with a single click, I can easily see all the activity that is occurring in the mission with the latest activity at the top of the field. This allows all analysts involved to have a common and shared operating picture for the current mission. Lastly, as an analyst who may be assigned to a team, I can set a custom filter to reflect only the activity that has occurred with a specific member or team. And in this case, I will narrow the map and feed activities related to Team Franklin. The mission map containing the geospatial layers provides context to the mission at hand. It is the focal point of situational awareness and directly reflects the mission field and who is actively participating in the mission. Since this mission is centered around a common goal of supporting the inspectors in the field, it is important for me as an analyst to see where have they been and where they were last located. And for that, I can easily turn on the tracks of the selected members to display their location track history. For this exercise, let me turn on the tracks sent by Kelvin, who is part of Team Franklin, and James, who is part of Team Edison. As you can see, the Mission Responder mobile app carried by them both sends a constant stream of track information that we're capturing and can then overlay on top of the mission map. On clicking a track, we get more additional information like the battery percentage, the speed, and timestamp, along with other parameters that helps us to enhance our knowledge of the various mission variables in play. 
In addition to visual situational awareness of where my infield responders are located, as an analyst, I can also directly communicate with mission members and teams, where all communication events are written and stored in the system of record. As I'm an analyst supporting this operation, I may want to quickly communicate with my field inspectors to see if they have anything to report. At this time, I want to provide some insight into their experiences when using Mission Responder, the mobile component of ArcGIS Mission. As a mobile mission responder, I'm a mission member who is providing live location and information updates in the field. I can view any active missions that I'm part of to open and begin participating in. In a very similar experience to Mission Manager, I can view the mission map, the details about the mission, who is part of the mission, and any additional materials associated with the mission. As a mission responder, who is a member in the power outage inspection mission, I have a more streamlined view of the mission to keep me focused at my task at hand. Therefore, I only see any activity that pertains to me as opposed to all activities occurring in the mission. I can easily collaborate with other members in the field by communicating through chat messaging. For example, I can send a direct message to another member or team by clicking the chat icon selecting the team and then adding a message in this case heading out to zone b for inspection and hitting the send message if we go back to mission manager i see a new message that came from kelvin with the message heading out to zone b for inspection and it's currently unread as soon as i tap on it I can see the message and the unread message notification is gone. As an analyst participating in this active mission, I just received information which originated from the local residents about a possible power outage near Zone B. So let's send out a chat message to Team Franklin, which is currently in Zone B, informing them of this particular situation. In the responder app, I get a notification where I can easily preview the message that was sent from mission manager. This chat message is also accessible to the mission field. To view this message in my mission field, I can swipe up the panel and by tapping the message, I can quickly respond to the message from the analyst, letting them know that I'm following up on the reported incident. And in near real time, we see the message populate in the mission manager's activity feed as well. Once the responder in the field has identified the issue, they can easily send a geo message using the draw tools provided in the app. I also have the capability to attach an image to my message that will help to provide more context to the geo message. And eventually, once I have my title, I can go ahead and send the message. Missions can be of different sizes and timeframes, but it is important to note that all activity and events that occur within a mission are written to the system of record. Therefore, I have a historical log and record of what occurred throughout a mission's lifetime. For instance, I can take the various mission layers, tracks, messages, and events, and utilize operations dashboard to begin identifying patterns from within the mission. In a command center, there are lots of information going on, and mission is just part of a larger story. Here's an example of how we can bring it all together. Dashboards can help identify patterns in sight to help make better decisions or prompt actions. As you can see, the last message that was sent during the mission is available at a high level for a user persona who we can easily identify as the mission observer. In closing, ArcGIS Mission provides near real-time sharing of important operational information across the organization within a shared enterprise geospatial cloud. It provides an easy, focused, and collaborative experiences and tools to track, communicate, and monitor mission events and activities. And we're really excited for you to give it a try.